As COVID continues to surge, concerts are back at full capacity in Evansville. Styx takes the stage at the Old National Events Plaza downtown tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Now, that venue recently announced a new mask mandate. So how are people handling this new policy? Eyewitness News' Bailey Smith spoke to people as they entered the show. Bailey? Brad and Shelly, as you can see behind me, the concert just let out a few minutes ago, but earlier tonight, people were lined up down the block, seemingly very excited to get back to somewhat normal. With the new mask mandate put into place at the old National Events Plaza, many people said that they were torn on how they felt. Despite the ongoing debate about mask mandates, one thing everyone appeared to agree on is that they couldn't wait to be at a concert. The Styx concert was postponed a few times, so everyone was thrilled to be there. It's been a really exciting day. I think everybody is ready to be back at concerts. Uh, this concert went on sale about two years ago, so some people have held on to their tickets that long. Everybody's just really glad to be here, really glad to hear live music again. We're really excited. This is the first full capacity concert back at the venue. Concerts at the Ford Center and Victory Theater are set for Friday and Saturday nights, also at full capacity. Fans were required to mask up for the Sticks show. So masks are required throughout the venue for tonight's performance, unless you're eating or drinking, and that goes for all areas of our venue. We will expect that some people will take their mask off if they're eating or drinking, but the rule is to put them back on when you're in general spaces or if you're not consuming one of our concessions. Some said they were not happy about the mandates, but others said they were indifferent. Well, we're not very excited about it. Um, we wish we didn't have to wear them, but I understand that I guess if you need them maybe to be safe and protect other people, okay, fine. Yeah. We'll comply. They said they weren't sure why it was necessary. I don't really know if it's protecting me. You know, it's pretty, it's decorative, it's a piece of cloth, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the other side, many people told us they were happy to bring back masks in public. This is about the public being safe. We're all being safe. You have the prerogative to mask, not mask, stay home or stay in a place to keep the public safe so we're not spreading this virulent virus. Harper said she's been very happy to see the positive reaction from those who were in attendance at the concert. She says there are many more shows planned out for the rest of the fall. As of now, masks are required for the remainder of those concerts. Reporting live at the Old National Events Plaza, Bailey Smith, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Bailey. Kentucky.